What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, episode number 11. We are done with all our secondary things. We'll make a small trip through the park on our way over there to see if we get any crime. But yeah, we're done with all of our secondary things we can do so far. Other than crime in Central Park, I think. It might be a crime in another area too, but definitely crime in Central Park. But they just don't pop up that often compared to other places, it would seem. So we get them when we can get them. Apparently that's not right now. Let's keep zipping across and going to talk to Mr. Lee. I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow, I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Good luck. <laughs> Poor Jonah. Come on, J. Jonah Jameson. What the heck, man? Oops. Need you on my side, Mr. Jameson. And... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Find Mr. E. Lee. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Well, hopefully that's the case. So that's why we're coming. You know. But I would be careful of Mr. Lee. I'm just saying, because I'm pretty sure I know who he is. I'm not going to say who he is yet, but I'm pretty sure I know who he is. Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Wait Why a take minute. The risk. When I came in, did he say my friend Mary Jane, or did he say my friend that's a reporter? Hmm. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. See you soon, MJ. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Let's see what we can do now.
Easy peasy. Fifteen hundred XP for that. Sure. Before Doc needs me at the lab, let's do a little Spidey work out in the city. Okay. Well, the only place left that has anything to do is Central Park, so I guess we'll head that direction. Oh wait, no, we got a new side mission apparently. Where? There, we up there. Okay, okay, we'll head that direction then. <laughs> it's like we don't have anything left to do. Uh, funny, funny. What are we gonna find at this side mission? Side missions are pretty, pretty decent so far, I would say. They've been pretty enclosed, though. I'm wondering if there's gonna be any, like, ones that open up and we'll come back to them later or something. Maybe we get the bird watching lady to find us more crime. Maybe. Gotta make sure we hit up uh, Central Park on the way there. Just so we can try to stop some crime. I wonder if they didn't include any fast travel in Spider-Man, because it just wouldn't make sense for him to have any. Or maybe there is fast travel and I'm just missing it. It could be the police stations. I wouldn't be surprised. Coming up on Central Park to our left here soon, yeah? I think so. Hello? No, no. Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Am I? <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Because <sighs> of MJ, man. You're thinking about MJ helping MJ and then... You know how it works. Helping girl. Get distracted. Nothing wrong with that, just what could happen. What up, guys? Criminals. They go together like cookies and milk. Oh, come on, felt. Let's kick it up a notch. Okay, now I'm just showing off. You seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Love you too, Aunt May. See, that's why we go through Central Park. So we found a crime in progress and we did it. Two more and we'll be done. Oops. Wanna swing from a web? There we go. Now what is this side quest gonna be, I wonder? Over here. I'm on my way, bud. What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Just now. Uh, busy guy like you. I guess it all blurs together, huh? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Okay, I wasn't anywhere near there. I should swing by and see what's going on. Yeah, who's being Spider-Man? And that's dangerous, man. You fake being Spider-Man, you're not Spider-Man. Somebody gotta come and kill you. <laughs> gotta be careful. There's the theater and the crime scene. I better find out what happened. Still alive. So whoever did this isn't a lethal protector. That's promising. Sorry I missed the action. Thanks for keeping us safe, Spider-Man. Wasn't me. You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right. Uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way. South. Thanks. I got a little turned around. 
Someone's impersonating me. It could be the chameleon again. I've got to pick up his trail. Chameleon. I don't know that 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 it one. It does smell like there was a fire in this direction. There's the fire damage. Looks like it got put out quickly. You came back. I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? Sorry, I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. Whoever hey, foe Spider-Man is, with that he's fire extinguisher. people. Fire extinguisher, huh? Wonder where he left it. That's a good my question. My doppelganger used a fire extinguisher. Might still be around here. He used the fire escape. Guess he couldn't copy my web shooters. Looks like the fire was caused by an electrical short, not arson. Right here. Ooh, what do we got? Unknown substance. He used a fire extinguisher. What type of suppressant is in this? Stack that one. We need a double. Nope. This one. What do we get? ADP, pretty standard, and easy to track. He got fire suppressant on him. If I key my lenses to track its chemical signature, it should lead me right to Spider-Man 2.0. He's walking normally, no webs, no powers, which makes what he's doing suicidal. Yep. That's what I was saying. Sorry. You guys are fine. Calm down. That guy looks like he's been in a fight. Maybe he knows something. Come on, man. Lay off. I told you everything. The deal's going down on the roof. No lie. Right. Just... You stay out of trouble. Hope I'm not too late. Let's go. My doppelganger's got some skills. Who is this? And he left the drugs. Seems like his intentions are good, even if his methods are nuts. The police will handle the cleanup. Counterfeit Spidey must have gone down the other fire escape. Hey. Okay. Is he still there? That's him. People seem to like him. Yeah, I mean me. I, I mean, oh, this is weird. My pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. <laughs> I hear someone in need. Okay, I do not talk like that. Nobody talks like that. <laughs> Let him go. Yeah, right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk when we bring him your head. Whoa, hey guys! I'm not the real Spider-Man. Not anymore, you're not. Time to even the odds a little. Get out of here, Spider-Man. I've got this. Go. Miss a chance to team up with the real Spider-Man? No way. Yes way. You know how to fight. I'm a black belt. He catch your car dojo. I just wanted to help spread the legend, you know? Yeah, but when you dress like me, you inherit my enemies. And I've got a lot of enemies. Look out. Four of them. I'll take the ones with guns. You get the rest. Is this the Spidey Bros we can summon? I bet it is. Gotta be careful there, bud. You know, if you want to help your community, there's a feast shelter nearby. And I'm sure folks would appreciate free self-defense classes. Good idea. Gotta admit, I'm starting to see the downside of this suit. Yeah, it's, it's a rough life when you're trying to help everybody, isn't it? Okay, how did I get to do another one? Don't worry. You're very helpful, my friend. Take 
take you out. Put you on the ground. What are those? Rocket launchers? Hide. I'll finish them off. Don't even tell me twice. <laughs> nice. Man, that was intense. How do you do it? One bruise at a time. Look, your heart's in the right place, but if you keep this up, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, I see that now. Don't worry, I'm hanging up the suit. Spider-Man, no more. Good call. Besides, you don't need a costume to make a difference. Hey, that's a good line. I'll remember that. <clears throat> Easy peasy. Now, back the other way. Level 15, swing speed up. Also, what do we unlock? First aid and bio scanner. Okay. Gadgets. We got. Ooh, we can get these now. Increased web time. Love it. And it's the maximum shots. Still can't do those. We do have two now. Let's go ahead and be able to take away bigger guns. That's what I want. That looks fun. Just yeet the rockets back at people. Getting that early in the game seems fun. I don't know if I'm assuming I'm still early in the game. I doubt I'm anywhere near finishing it. That would be crazy. Oh no! Well. If it dies, hopefully it pauses the game. No crime, huh? You might have heard about the robbery at Rosemont's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like... Prejudice? Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Is it, is it Jonah James? Is it Mr. Jameson? Is it? I kind of like the little tidbits that we hear that you can actually, it, it popped up earlier. I don't know if you guys saw it, that you can unsubscribe from J. Jonah Jameson. I was like, why? I want it to pop up. That's part of the fun of the game. I guess people found him annoying or something. Which yeah, he kind of is, but I, I, I like I like his takes. It's fun. I'm here, boss. Don't worry. I totally didn't go do something else before I showed up. All right, time to do this fitting. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. 
Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> that sucks. Easy, easy, easy. They didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Yeah, probably should. They ain't making any money anyway. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. No. Oh, my bad. I just wanted to see if the things had any things to do anymore, you know? Oh, it still works. A lot emptier now. It does see. See, I'm not crazy. <clears throat> I figured there would be at this point. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. That works. Um, but it's not what we need. That's what we need. That's not right, obviously. That one. Crap. This one. Nope. Already tried that. Oh, nope, I want that one. Take this one. Should do that. And then I can take that one. It cancels out that easily enough. Boom. Pattern found. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Yeah. I do too. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Hmm. Too much. There we go. This one's probably that, along with that, and that. Got it. 
Oh, awesome. It's been nano latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Sweet. Wish I knew how I knew, wish I knew when these unlocked so I could, you know, be ready to come back and do them. Got any over here? We do not. Doc's office is open though. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. I showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. I'm sure he doesn't, Peter. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, I think that's everything we can do in here. Oh, wait. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. It's rough. That is rough. Doesn't look like there's anything else we can do. All right, let's head out. See what the world has to offer us for the end of this episode. Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Ooh. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. A new thing to hook up? Must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. It's gonna be a new collectible thing. I hope so. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. Got you. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Then well, I definitely got you. It's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Oh, we'll definitely be doing all these. This is another of our air quality stations monitoring containments. Contaminants in the surrounding atmosphere are super important for the city and its citizens, but certain corporate overlords are less than thrilled about the prospect of their pollution output being publicly reported. Let's do it. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the <clears throat> word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Okay, swing through those clouds, I shall then. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. At least you can see them. You know, there's normally not this much smog, I'm just saying. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. Like, I've been swinging around the city quite often. <laughs> Got it. And it doesn't normally look like this, I'm just saying. I think some shenanigans have been had. <laughs> Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> and eight. No way it could be that. Best smokestack picture I ever took. Great light on that one. And then this car too, huh? Perfect. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Yeah. Sweet. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Oh, didn't know what was happening there. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. 
What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Yeah, but that will be happening next time because we have many things to do. Many, many things to do. Can I can I craft these things now? I can. Look at that. Uh, you know, we'll go ahead and craft it. We're not going to use it. But we're going to craft it. Beautifully done. What superpowers do we get? We got a bulletproof and arms race. Nice. I like this one though. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.